300 healthcare workers will visit the lab. Dante's ready to put his boots on. The 39th annual country concert in Shelby <laughs> County officially kicks off today. About 70,000 people are expected to attend that festival, showcasing the top country music artists. It is a great event, and it kicks off at 4 this afternoon. It runs through Sunday night. It's my favorite time of year. Good people, good music, good environment. It's just fun. There you have it. That event is considered one of the biggest money makers for Shelby County for both businesses and nonprofits. However, the Shelby County Sheriff does want to remind people to be on the lookout for counterfeit cash. He says more than $145 million in fake money is being circulated across the country right now. I've never been. Have you? I have never been. I've been there for the setup and mm -hmm. the preview, but I have been to country concerts before right. similar to this when okay. I worked out in Kansas. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. It is a great time. Well, I'm headlining this year, so you know. <laughs> yeah, <you're not laughs> the question is, will they be rained on today? That's what I want to know. Right, right. You know what? I think that there's a chance of a okay. passing shower, so, but it'll help. In all honesty, because it's going to be so hot and muggy this afternoon, and then on Saturday afternoon, for that matter, uh, as well. All right, I'm an Indian outlaw, part Cherokee and Choctaw. That's my best impression right there. That's that's all I got. All right. Now let's take a look at the Gulf Coast here. We've got this big swirling mass of showers and thunderstorms and clouds. That's what could possibly be Hurricane Barry by the time we get into the day tomorrow. It's a matter of fact, a 100% chance that in the next next 48 hours that we're going to get development out of this thing is what the National Hurricane Center is telling us. Right now it's pretty weak. 30 mile an hour sustained winds, uh, 40 mile an hour gusts, but notice that little one right there across Louisiana uh, by the time we get into Friday. And unfortunately, this is causing so much flooding across New Orleans. A lot of folks uh, being flooded out down there. This is going to test the levee system that was put back in Hurricane Katrina, if you remember that. And so this is the first storm that's actually going to test that and see if it actually holds. So we'll be watching this storm uh, to see the impact. And then look at the track of this, though. It moves to the north of Louisiana and Arkansas, and then it gets caught up in the prevailing winds that moves it towards the east, and so Ohio may get some of that rain middle part of next week. We'll just keep an eye on that as well. So far closer to home, a few passing showers, really nothing to write home about. Any thunderstorms that we had earlier that had since fizzled out, so we just, just got a lightly scattered shower here and there. 76 degrees so far when you step out the door, it's warm and muggy. Uh, 72 in Springfield and Greenville. Winds are calm to light. Not seeing any fog this morning. Uh, so far, so good. But there might be some patchy fog here and there. So I wouldn't completely rule it out. The hour-by-hour -hour forecast, gradual sunshine through the day. We'll get a batch of showers here early this morning. And then we'll get those out of the way. And so mid to late morning, we're dry. Early afternoon, we're dry. Then mid to late afternoon into the evening, a few pop-up showers or storms. But it's also sunny. So if you look uh, towards Fort Laramie, you're looking, Laramie, you're looking at sunshine, but you're also looking at the possibility of a passing shower, and that may cool you off because we're going to be hot in the upper 80s and in the heat index in the lower 90s, so you'll probably want that, but you're not going to get a whole lot of relief from any passing showers or thunderstorms because they are really on the isolated side. So 87 for us today, heat index in the lower 90s, an a.m. shower, storm, dry for the middle part of the day, and then a pop-up shower, thunderstorm for the afternoon and early part of the evening. Then late evening towards sunset going to be beautiful. 64 overnight tonight, clear and quiet, cooler, less humid. And then here's that five-day forecast. 84 degrees for us tomorrow, sunshine. 87 for us on Saturday. And the humidity comes back as well. We're talking uh, mid-90s. So if you're going to the Dayton Benefit concert or the country concert in Fort Laramie, it's going to be hot and sunny and muggy on Saturday, and even on Sunday for that matter, with a few pop-up showers and storms north and east. And then on Monday, we'll do it all again. Partly cloudy skies, 88 degrees, humidity levels are high, so mid-90s is what it'll feel like. Pop-up shower, thunderstorm in the afternoon. All right, you know who's also headlining with me at the country concert? You got it, Sergeant Mark Bowen. Good morning to you, Sarge. I got my guitar too, <laughs> <though, all right. laughs> Uh, we'll see you there. Uh, actually, uh, we've got uh, good conditions to start our morning drive, Dante. It's been uh, pretty decent out on the freeway system. I do want to talk about a crash, though. Uh, I got some information about this one. It actually happened about 4 o'clock, and uh, we still show that uh, the lanes are restricted there at Hillcrest at Philadelphia in the city of Dayton. So, again, may want to steer clear of that intersection. We mentioned the freeway traffic. Here's 75 
at the Miami Montgomery County line. It's a 12 mile drive south on 75 from this spot into downtown. You can drive it right now 12 minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer and WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 521, 76 degrees. County officials are warning about a payroll scam where a similar scam has happened before. A bomb squad called to a local residence what family members found inside that prompted that call for help. Right when you wake up, prepare for the day ahead with your live Storm Center 7 forecast from meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. Weekday mornings starting at 425 a.m.